Hi Neapsco Elementary, I'm so excited to tell you all about our reading graffiti wall. So the way this is going to work is if you want to write on the walls at Neapsco Elementary, you need to read a really good book and find a line that means a lot to you. Something that stood out that was important. Once you have your line that stood out to you, you're going to get a reading graffiti paper from a basket in the library. On your paper, it will have a place for you to put your name, the book title, your classroom teacher, and of course the line that was important to you. So Karen's going to demonstrate to us a line that's so important to her, she found in Divergent. My line was, we believe in ordinary acts of bravery in the courage that drives one person to stand up for another. Okay, so you need to put your name, your teacher's name, and the title of the book. Once you've written those three things, you can write down the line from the book that was really important to you. Okay, once she's done, she wrote her name, her classroom teacher, and the book. And that line that was really important to her, she's going to give this to her classroom teacher or Miss Childress, and they're going to put it in my mailbox. Once I get them, when I have a few minutes, I will come and pick you up from your classroom with some Sharpies for you to pick from and you can then put it onto a brick out in the hallway, just like Karen's going to do right now. Are you ready? Okay. Here, I'll give you this. You don't need your book because I already have it written down here. So here we go. Okay, here we are in our graffiti wall. We already have two entries on the wall. Karen is gonna pick her square and she's gonna write down that quote that she found from Divergent. Okay, she added her quote to the wall, but there's still a couple things we need to make sure we put on here. She remembered we have to have quotations because it's right from the book. But she also needs to add the title of her book and make sure it's underlined. And then she's going to add her name so we all know who read this book in case any of us want to read it. A few things to remember in the Absco Stars. Number one, you cannot do this without me. No one should be taking a Sharpie and writing on our wall unless they have permission. Number two, you can give your paper to any adult in the building and they will put it in my mailbox so that I can come and get you. Don't forget your teacher's name. Bye.